Hello, my name is Ken Varlin, Regional Wildlife Manager for Minnesota DNR's Southern Region. Welcome to Marsh Lake, one of the Upper Midwest's most popular destinations for outdoor enthusiasts. Marsh Lake is located in West Central Minnesota near the headwaters of the Minnesota River. Historically, Marsh Lake was a river floodplain lake created by a delta. Prior to Euro-American settlement, Marsh Lake was surrounded by a seemingly endless tall grass prairie with thousands of embedded wetlands. In the 1930s, the Marsh Lake Dam was built by the State of Minnesota and the Federal Works Progress Administration. The dam and other infrastructure were transferred to the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers in 1950. The Minnesota DNR's 33,000-acre Laquaparl Wildlife Management Area surrounds Marsh Lake and Laquaparl Lake. In the early years, the newly inundated 5,000-acre Marsh Lake Reservoir provided grid habitat for waterfowl and other wildlife. Unfortunately, over the last 68 years, the aquatic and riparian ecosystems have degraded, primarily because of the artificially maintained water levels of the Fixed Crest Dam. Today, Marsh Lake has poor quality, turbid waters. Since 2007, the Corps of Engineers and the Minnesota DNR have been working on a study report and plan to restore the lake's ecosystem. The subject area includes Marsh Lake, the Palm de Terre River Outlet, the Marsh Lake Dam, and the upper portion of Laquaparl Reservoir. The Minnesota River Corridor is rich in history, culture, natural and scenic beauty, offering exceptional recreational opportunities for outdoor enthusiasts of all ages, including hunting, fishing, canoeing, kayaking, wildlife viewing, boating, bicycling, and cross-country skiing. The area is considered a major destination point for wildlife-related activities. Hunters primarily pursue Canada geese and other waterfowl, deer, and pheasants. The Upper Minnesota Valley is also a popular destination for wildlife watchers. The National Audubon Society has recognized the area, including Marsh Lake, as an important bird area of national significance. Over 250 species have been recorded annually, including up to 50 bald eagles during migration and five to eight nesting pairs. The Laquaparl Wildlife Management Area holds the largest concentration of migrant Canada geese in Minnesota. Duck and shorebird migrations through the area is significant, including up to 80,000 mallards. Marsh Lake contains the largest breeding colony of American white pelicans in North America. In 2006, breeding pairs of colonial waterbirds that nested on the lake islands exceeded 25,000. Marsh Lake has up to 25 species of fish. Anglers primarily fish for walleye and northern pike, normally in spring and through the ice in winter. However, common carp are the most abundant fish by both numbers and biomass. Species that are known to be rare that occur in the area include bald eagles, Dakota skipper, elk toe mussels, and black sand shell. The current degraded ecosystem state of Marsh Lake is primarily influenced by five things. Altered hydrologic regime, sediment loading, sediment resuspension, invasive species, and loss of ecosystem connectivity. The Marsh Lake Project's feasibility report and environmental assessment featured a restoration goal and nine objectives. The Marsh Lake study team identified three broad problem areas. One, degraded Marsh Lake ecosystem state. Two, low diversity fish community. Three, degraded Palm de Terre River ecosystem state. Rapid delivery of water, sediment, and nutrients into Marsh Lake have led to higher and faster fluctuations in water levels and much degraded water quality. The fish community is dominated by non-native common carp making up over two-thirds of the biomass of fish. 
native game fishes like yellow perch and northern pike occur in only low abundance. Carp exacerbate the low water clarity problem by grazing submerged aquatic plants. This leads to an unvegetated and turbid ecosystem state in the lake. The Palm de Terre River was diverted into Marsh Lake when the dam was built in the 1930s. This river provides carp in Marsh Lake, a winter refugia with dissolved oxygen. The diversion also eliminated 11,500 feet of river and its associated mussel community. A total of 48 project alternatives were examined in the study. The final recommendation included five alternative measures brought forward by the study team. Alternative measures described henceforth are generally standalone measures that could be implemented independently of other restoration alternatives. Restoring river ecosystems by returning rivers to their former channels has been proven to be ecologically effective worldwide. Rerouting the lower Palm de Terre River to its former channel and floodplain at the confluence of the Minnesota River downstream of the Marsh Lake Dam would restore natural floodplain processes. Also, a restored Palm de Terre River would provide direct canoe routes linking the Palm de Terre River and the Minnesota River and the upper end of Lacquaparo Lake. This alternative would include a bridge over the river to maintain access to the Marsh Lake Dam. A key to restoring freshwater aquatic ecosystems is restoring a more natural hydrologic regime that involves lower lake water levels in some years to enable aquatic vegetation to reestablish. This would lead to a shift from turbid conditions with dense blue-green blue algal blooms dominated by plankton and detritus feeding fish to clearer water conditions with aquatic plants and game fish. Furthermore, nature-like fishways are effective in restoring migratory fishes to stream networks. The Marsh Lake Dam could be modified to allow for continuous year-round fish passage and increased water level variability of Marsh Lake. Restoring connectivity of habitats in river systems have been shown to be effective in increasing the abundance and spatial distribution of many species of native fish. Restoring the Palm de Terre River to its former channel would provide walleyes and white suckers from Lacquaparo Lake direct access to rock and gravel spawning habitat in the Palm de Terre River and increase the likelihood of winter kill of common carp in Marsh Lake. Furthermore, fish from the Palm de Terre River would have access to suitable winter habitat in Lacquaparo Lake. Restoring connectivity at the Marsh Lake Dam would enable fish from Lacquaparo Lake to migrate to high quality spawning areas in the marshes of Upper Marsh Lake. Finally, many people visit the Marsh Lake Dam and fish there. Replacing this dam would improve public safety at the site. The Marsh Lake Dam would have a water control structure to enable water level management. Growing season drawdowns reestablish emergent and submergent aquatic plants that is desirable habitat for game fish. This would also lead to a clear water state, again restoring the native fish community over the non-native common carp. For example, increased abundance of northern pike and walleyes in Marsh Lake would increase predation on car common carp, also contributing to improved water quality conditions. Finally, winter drawdowns could also be used to reduce carp abundance. Breaching the fish pond dike on the downstream side of Marsh Lake Dam would also provide connectivity between the fish pond area and the upper end of Lacquaparo, allowing the native floodplain vegetation to become reestablished and providing seasonally variable habitat for fish and shorebirds. Installing gated culverts in the Lewisburg Grade Road is a major contingent on construction of a drawdown control structure. This measure would enable holding water in Upper Marsh Lake in years when a growing season drawdown was conducted, allowing northern pike to successfully spawn in the flooded marsh vegetation and the young to grow into juveniles. 
Finally, the Corps of Engineers policy for ecosystem restoration projects recognizes that the lands used for project construction can also provide a low-cost opportunity to provide recreation facilities. The study team recommended one, to build a pedestrian bridge across the Marsh Lake Spillway for improved safety, to provide angler access to both sides of the river and as a future state bike trail connection. Two, to provide improvements to the Corps of Engineers day use facility at the Marsh Lake Dam to include a new canoe landing and portage area, shoreline fishing platforms, vault toilets, and interpretive kiosk. And finally three, to upgrade shoreline access to include shoreline fishing and interpretive signage at major water access points around Marsh Lake. The feasibility study for Marsh Lake outlines a recommendation combining each of the five standalone measures just discussed. When viewed relative to the cost of similar ecosystem restoration projects, this project is efficient in achieving the stated ecosystem objectives and is reasonable in cost. The project has strong support from the non-federal sponsor and is consistent with regional and state planning for the area. Hello, my name is David Trulla, DNR Wildlife Supervisor for Alaska Pearl Wildlife Management Area. I am one of the non-federal cooperators for the Marsh Lake Feasibility Study. One may ask, why is the project important? Marsh Lake is considered a significant ecological resource, not only statewide, but also at the national and international level due to the wide variety of fish and wildlife species the project area supports. Marsh Lake along with the entire Upper Minnesota River Basin, is a regional destination for outdoor enthusiasts, especially those who hunt, fish, bird watch, or enjoy scenic beauty. Despite its importance and popularity, the Marsh Lake system has been in decline for many years. As outlined earlier, Marsh Lake has poor quality, turbid waters. The lake's ability to sustain healthy, diverse, and abundant fish and wildlife populations is compromised. I have personally witnessed the decline. Cattail points popular for waterfall hunting have disappeared. Important aquatic foods for fish and wildlife, such as sago pondweed, are nearly non-existent. Invasive common carp dominate the lake, and the current dam is a barrier to fish passage. Our constituents have recognized this decline and want action to improve Marsh Lake. We have a plan to do just that. Our efforts are geared toward shifting the lake from a turbid state to a clear water condition dominated by aquatic vegetation. Project alternatives outlined in this video promote ecological processes for the benefit of the entire lake ecosystem. This means a better environment for fish and wildlife, clean water, and greater outdoor recreational opportunities. The Upper Minnesota River Valley is a tourism destination and an economic engine for our regional economy. We view the Marsh Lake Ecosystem Restoration Project is a vital public investment in our nation's future. Thank you.